Hey everyone, so here uh, I have my Model 3 2018. Uh, this one came with the charging pad for the phones where it basically has a connector. So we've had a USB-C connector and a lightning cable for my phone and my wife's phone. Uh, <clears throat> but what I did is on Amazon, I went and just bought uh, one of these wireless pads. So we're going to install this and so we can use that instead. I do know that plugging it in does charge faster than this inductive type of uh, Qi chargers, um, but it is more convenient also. Uh, for me, I can plug my Pixel 8 or Pixel 7 onto here fairly easily. Uh, my wife's iPhone 14 Pro with the case, it's kind of really hard to plug it in here, so she often does not use this plug here. So by putting this, we can both at least put it on the pad and it'll charge some. Um, and uh, <clears throat> so that's the plan. So to install this, let's figure out, how to, figure out how to do this. So I remember this piece slides off in some direction. So let's say, yeah, we go this way to the left. This comes off and uh, this piece here comes off. And I think I need to take these off too is I think what the instruction said. So let's do that and slide these through here. Yeah, let's see if we can go up here, pull these through. There we go. There we go. So, this new one, I'm hoping it's as simple as just sliding in here. And I'm assuming I can put this little piece back on, but I'm not positive about that. So. Let's see if we can figure that out. Um, now, plug wise, this also has these two plugs. So, let's see if we can. Might be hard with one hand here, but let's see. Uh, this is the right one here. It's gonna go in there, and the phone goes in there. Slide it like this. Here. See if I can pull it through. Alright, so there I pulled it through. Now, this can plug in directly. So if I unplug everything here, I can just plug it in directly here. It does come with a couple of these uh, Y connectors. So I could plug in the USB here. Let me see if I can open one of these here. Uh, came with both two of these. And what I could do is plug this into here like that. And then here, plug this into here. Uh, and just plug it in. All right, so there it's plugged in. <clears throat> so there it's plugged in. And I still have one available that I can put in my uh, sentry mode uh, chip on here. Like that. So, sorry for showing you crumbs there. But I'm just Plugging that in. Alright, so there's that. It's plugged into there. That one's into there. This one I guess I can plug in directly if I want, or I can use the other Y adapter um, on there also. Alright, so there's that piece. That seems like it, yeah, it stays on there. So now let's slide this back on. And this has here. There we go. Slide it back. Alright, so there it is. And, um, there it's on. Um, it does move her a little bit. It did come with a piece of Velcro with sticky stuff. Um, let's see if I can find that here. Yeah, it came with this here. So my guess is that I can basically just stick this on the bottom so that this doesn't move around like it does right now. And basically just attach it to the back here, here and here. And then attach that. And then um, I'll test and see if this works. So let me add that real quick, and I'll come back in a sec here. All right, so it's installed. I tested it with both phones. It does work. And uh, here we have uh, the iPhone. I'm recording this with the Pixel. But yeah, you can put it on here. And then it now charge starts charging the device here. So that seems to be working. I'll have to test some more see how it works as you're driving, if there's bumps, whether there's problems with it or not. But so far it seems good. Um, I, that piece of, uh, I thought it was um, adhesive with Velcro. It isn't, it's just adhesive. So I put that in the bottom to kind of hold this in place. 
but essentially, yeah, you could stick it anywhere in the bottom. The one thing I did notice is that it's not a perfect fit for this one, for whatever reason. This one is from Amazon. I'll put a link underneath. It does touch a little bit up here, like it scrapes a little bit. Not an issue to close this. That seems to be perfectly fine. The only time I hear it is like if I'm lifting this, you'll see that it like pop, it scrapes a little bit right there, but it still lets you open it up. So that's not an issue, um, but it does, just so you know, it does touch a little bit here. So it seems to be a little bit off. And this is a little bit forward too. Like I probably should put another piece of adhesive back here to hold it back here. But even with that, it still scrapes a little bit. So just be aware of that it's not an issue because I really never open this up for anything. Uh, so I rarely do only when I'm plugging something in here. So I don't see it as a problem really, but uh, we'll try this out. See if it actually, it seems like it at least stabilizes the phone at whatever charge you have, but I want to see how quick it can actually charge too. And uh, my thought is probably it will be slow charging, uh, but uh, you could basically just, you know, now drop the phone right here and it'll start charging. Also, one more thing, I notice if I tilt this this way, um, there it does lose the charging. So it does have to be against straight, right, for it to work uh, in here. But yeah, it works on this side, it works on this side here too. So it seems like they're both good. And you do have an LED indicator right here that you can see in the bottom, right? So that appears too. Um, let's see, I'll put the phone here, and there it gives me a solid light, it's telling me it's charging, now if I put it here, there was a blinking light there, I don't know why, but let's say, yeah, that seems to be good, there, maybe if I go like this, let's see, does it do anything different, no, that turns off, so that tells you that it's not charging, so I put it back in here, um, and there it starts charging again. All right, so that's this little uh, charging pad for uh, Tesla Model 3s. If you have an older one, which didn't come with the wireless pads, uh, there's a way you can kind of get that feature if you really wanted. Okay, hope you enjoy, enjoy these videos. Definitely like and subscribe if you like this content, and we'll catch you in the next one. All right, take care. Bye-bye.